Hi, James here. In this video, we're going to look at how to make money on Google and YouTube with no ads with James. In a moment, I'm actually going to dive in and show you how a friend of mine, Paul Murphy, has generated a seven-figure business with this strategy without spending a single penny on advertising. I mean, how cool is that? But before that, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on your experience with ads. Let's roll. Now, don't make the same mistakes that so many people make and learn the hard way. I'll actually break this down for you. In fact, I've got a set of videos coming out where I'm gonna dig into what's really working right now and actually show you some of the strategies that he's developed over the last year plus. These are absolutely killing it. The bottom line, what we're doing here is replacing our YouTube videos on the front page of Google and YouTube. The reason we're able to do this for free is because Google owns YouTube. And Google is now understanding that people are preferring video. So Google is pushing these because obviously it keeps people on their platform and they can show more ads. Now last year, Google moved big time to mobile first indexing, the strategy that's focusing on the most popular means of communication, which is video. See, people prefer video. In fact, so much so that YouTube is actually the second largest search engine behind Google. People are searching for products and services and they're actually bypassing the ads. They're, they're bypassing the blogs and they go straight to these listings that are in the top of the results. So this is how we're able to now utilize YouTube because right now we're entering kind of the golden age of YouTube. YouTube's just still getting started. And, and in fact, for e-commerce, it's pretty much untapped. That means at the moment, nobody's paying attention to them. And when I show people this method, it's like I'm showing them a gold mine and they can't see it. They're so programmed to think that you have to spend money on on ads or, or SEO to get to the top of Google. So it's the weirdest thing. But if you think about it, let's say you search for a, a term for a product or service on Google. Now, how often do you go and see a review of that product? Or how often do you go and see somebody doing some unboxing or, or something or, or seeing what they have to say about it? We do this and we're not even realizing what we're doing. So that's what we're gonna discuss today. And I'm actually gonna break this all down for you and give you some context here as well. Just so you'll know, I'm not smoking my front yard. You can see here, I'll put it on the screen, over the last 12 months, how Paul has consistently been in the top 10 affiliates for some high ticket products that are, and actually some of the most highly competitive products and highly promoted um, markets online. And the reason he was able to do this and edge his way in here without blowing a boatload of money on ads or spending even a dime to acquire customers was using this method. And check this out. He was in the top of the groove launch. Now you may say, well, why wasn't he number one? Because number one, spent a bunch of money on ads and marketing. And look, some of the cost per you know, ads to acquire leads, they're incredible, they're through the roof. So check this out. So let's take a look at something. I just typed in Kartra Review in Google and it pulled up and showed right here the volume that Kartra Review, that search term gets, is 480 a month searches. The cost per click is $11.90. That means for these ads that are in the top here, you have to pay $11.90 per click for that Kartra review. Uh, if you scroll down over here, you'll see in this keywords everywhere, Kartra pricing, $3.15. Kartra versus Kajabi, $7.69. Kartra versus ClickFunnels, $8.45. This is what they're paying per click every time someone clicks on their um, link to that. Now, if you continue scrolling down here, you'll see something that's really interesting. Look, this is my friend Paul Murphy. He's just did an updated demo. I mean, this is uh, on December 1st, an updated demo walkthrough for 2020, okay? On his uh, channel, Passive Income Ladder. If we go to that, this is his, his uh, video for this Kartra demo, this Kartra review demo. Now, using uh, TubeBuddy, you can see down here, right here, look at all these. This Kartra review shows number seven, and this is with no ads. Kartra Demo is number one. So he's number one for that. And he's doing it without paying $11.90 per click. What is Kartra? And he's ranking for all these keywords. And he does it with a system. So that's what we really want to focus on in being able to do that without burning through a whole bunch of money with advertising. So you see, we're utilizing Google and YouTube where everybody else is just burning money in advertising over and over in Facebook are trying to spend their money on Google ads, which are so expensive. We're actually utilizing the algorithm. We're creating authority. And because of that, 
we're able to do this with only a handful of videos. We're able to claim authority on YouTube. And again, the reason we're able to do this is because nobody's doing it. You can literally pick a product out of thin air, put up a few videos with this system, claim that authority, and then Google and YouTube are gonna place you in the carousel on the front page of Google. This is the first search engine that everybody goes to, and they're gonna place you at the top of that, and YouTube is the second biggest search engine. Now, what do I mean by authority? Well, let's say that you're a new real estate agent, and people ask you, oh, well, how many properties have you sold? None. <laughs> okay, call me when you know what you're doing. But what if you could establish your authority before they ask? Let's say you sell you know, 10 pieces of minor properties, maybe land or even just 10 small, totally easy to sell houses. Then when someone asks you, you can say, well, I sold 10 last month. Wow, what a difference. That's authority. That's what Google gives us, just a handful of videos. When everyone else is trying to get likes and subscribes and AdWords money, you're killing it without all that. Now, Paul is very humble, but he's helped a lot of people, and he literally just figured this out on his own. He was actually broke for four years, and when he started to figure this out, everything changed. Now, let's understand something first. The first thing I want to look at is, why is everyone failing at marketing? Now, you may have fallen into a lot of these traps, but obviously, just by watching this video, hopefully, you can avoid them. So the first thing is that ad prices have been increasing nearly 100% every single year for the last five years. So if you think about that, it means that there's way too much competition. And it's because your competitors are now paying five times as much, and so are you. And the reason for that is because there's less advertising real estate. So that's pushing the prices up, which means there's now a red ocean. Check out my video on red versus blue ocean strategies. <clears throat> so you got way more people spending five times as much, so it's impossible to stay inside your budget and succeed. And also, ad accounts are getting banned left and right. Sorry, not approved. Search any of the Facebook groups and you'll see this. You know, one strategy people used to use was to set up multiple accounts under their business manager. But in the biggest Facebook groups for advertisers, you'll see that people are in there complaining every day about accounts getting banned uh, and their ads not getting approved. Facebook's getting super, super strict on this, but it doesn't deter people because that's where everyone's focused. Virtually every business is doing this and they say, go and put up a Facebook ad. But the problem is, I mean, if you started five years ago, you could have done that and you could have made some money with it and you could have made a lot of mistakes and gotten away with it, but you can't do that now. It costs way too much. Also, did you know that over 500,000 businesses start every year? And typically over the last five years, only 1% of new online businesses that start will succeed. So there's actually a 99% chance of businesses failing. 99 out of every 100 that start will fail. When you reverse engineer what's going wrong, then we realize that most people don't place their products in front of actual buyers. So if you think about it, there are so many people advertising on Facebook, but don't forget, we don't go to Facebook to buy products. In fact, we're not going there to actually buy anything. Uh, we're going there to hang out with our friends. We're going there to hang out with our groups. And if you want to advertise to those people, Facebook's got a, a really complex algorithm. And it's, and it's going to be able to work out which of those people are likely to buy your products. Well, this is called interruption marketing. And you've got to pay for that privilege. You actually got to pay uh, agency fees, and you got to pay for ads, you got to pay for testing, you got to test different products as well to see what's in. You got to pay for software a lot of times, Shopify or ClickFunnels. And you've got to pay for all these different services because when you're on Facebook, you've got to basically spend a lot of money before this starts to work. And in another vi video in the series, I'll actually break down some of the costs so you can see kind of what people are actually paying. Now, hopefully you can avoid those mistakes, but let's, let's go back. The biggest problem is that most people don't place their products in front of buyers. And also, most people are not focusing on Google with SEO, search engine opt optimization. And there's a good reason for this. It, it's actually because SEO is almost impossible to rank for long term. Now, back in the day, SEO was ridiculously easy. And you could rank virtually any website you wanted to on the front page of Google and get thousands of visitors every day. People put a lot into these sites, and then Google got really smart. They came out with all these different penalty slaps over the years. And they, they basically made it so if you want to get anything on the front page of Google, you could pretty much forget it. I mean, let's face it. Google wants to be the best. So what they're trying to do is optimize people's experience and, and to get the top listings there organically. So most people that are now trying to get, uh, get there, they're trying to just get to the bottom of the first page or even the second page or the third page, and you can still scoop up some business there. But even to do that, you're looking at six months of ranking. So people that know, 
Traditional SEO is kind of dead in that sense. Now, you may not realize this, and people associate with this with SEO, but if you actually realize this, it's in the Google carousel, which is part of the top, the first 10 listings on the first page of Google. That Google carousel is kind of in its own world. These are the videos that pop up on the first page of any Google search, and it's got its own thing going. Um, now, it's not really SEO in the traditional sense, because we're not trying to rank websites. We're basically just utilizing Google's algorithm to place our listings in that carousel. And you'll even see that carousel appear when you put enough of your videos up. So if you put a search term in and there's no carousel, then when you do what we show you, that carousel just magically appears. And you're not knocking anyone else's spot off. You're basically claiming free advertising space with these billboards. And the way we set it up, we can keep them there for years to come. This is pure gold. Because you're not only getting prime real estate, you have a billboard in front of people who have come to actually buy. And because if you're actually buying ads, these spots aren't even for sale. They won't let you. Now, another big factor, um, people actually want to go to Google anyway, and it's video. Google's already said in the next five years that video and podcast will be the number one and two destinations. Websites are pretty much gone, so that's kind of where it's all headed. But because of that, we're able to place our listings in the front of buyers because buyers are going to Google first. Now, if you want to buy something, what do you do? You go to Google, right? This is why this is super powerful. Another huge pro problem for businesses is that most people can't turn a profit. I mean, most people can't actually make a profit in their business. And the biggest reason for this is marketing. One of the biggest expenses in business is marketing. And especially online businesses, because we don't have much overhead, but we do have overhead with marketing. You know, the whole spend a dollar to get $2 back? Well, it's getting harder and harder to do. So what if you could spend $0 and get 2 or 5 or even $10 back? That'd be insane, right? Well, how long could your business last if you're doing that? You, have you also heard about funnels? Uh, everyone has. So if you've built an amazing funnel and started pouring out money on ads just to get crickets, well, guess what? You're not alone. Funnels are great, but they don't make you money. They make you more money. One problem with funnels is they are an absolute time black hole. They are. They're addictive. And you can feel like you worked in your business because you spent all day tweaking your funnels. But it's like labeling file folders. It feels like you're doing something, but you're only being active in your business, not productive. And then you plaster this funnel all over the internet. But if you don't put it in front of an actual buyer, it's pointless. It's not going to make you anything. So don't start with funnels. Just start by using Google and YouTube. And then we'll just point them to our products or our affiliate products. We don't even bother with funnels at first. Let someone else work that out. And when we do it this way, we can start making money really quickly. So we never have to switch on ads until we have some profits. So we'll never spend a single penny of our own money on ads. This is a totally better choice. We'll take some of the profits, and more importantly, we'll have actual buyers. And we can upload our buyers list to places like Facebook. <laughs> This actually cuts out a huge amount of testing just to find the right audience. And we can also create what's called a lookalike audience. Then Facebook knows exactly where to go to find buyers for us. The main point, we wouldn't spend a single penny up to that point. We would only use these places to go and scale if we want to. And it's good to have that choice. On Google, you can do something similar. And they have um, remarketing as well. So you can actually go and find buyers on Facebook and on Google with your data again. Now, these places are expensive, so we don't always do it, but we don't have to. Now, if you want to find out how to implement this entire system, Paul's actually put together a free training where he breaks down everything, exactly what we do and how we do it, and it's completely free. So I'll put the link up on the screen or in the description or comments below, and I'd recommend checking it out if you want to do this right now. Now, I do recommend don't start with Facebook ads. Also, don't worry about your funnels. You can choose a product or an affiliate product that you want to promote. I, I do recommend do something in a niche that you're kind of familiar with and then use this system to place your listings on the front page of Google for free and get yourself out of that 99% category. In the next video, I'm going to show you why Google actually wants to place your listings on the front page. And they're not just doing it out of the kindness of their hearts, but they actually want to give you those listings. So I'm looking forward to showing you that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe down below if this has helped you. And leave a comment on your experience with Facebook and Google Ads. Cheers.